Uh, this place is haunted. And I swear I can hear whispers on the wind. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Stalker Call of Pripyat. And finally, that's appropriate. We are finally here. We've made it to Pripyat. I can't wait to start exploring, but first, we have to take on a job for the military to go ambush some monolith fighters in an abandoned hospital. I'm pretty nervous. It feels like a whole different thing, and just as I was starting to feel like I was on top of things. Yeah, but everything, from the change in tone, the atmosphere, the people we're meeting, and the soundtrack and soundscapes themselves... I don't know, it's starting to feel like this is all just a completely different thing. I really hope I can buy some more AP ammo before we go engage those guys. They put up a real tough fight last time. Now would be a really good time to have that armor and stuff and night vision helmet that we left behind. A real good time. I guess this is our new home for now. Wow. But it looks like we do have some services here and we'll be able to replenish our stocks, at least hopefully. I at least feel better being able to hear all these voices around. This building seems safe. And these are all military, so I guess I'm in good hands. These are my people. Uh, speaking of the military, I, I can already, e even though it hasn't gone up yet at the time I'm recording this, I can already hear people in the last part saying, you didn't recruit Sokolov, you, you, got the, you got him the suit, but you didn't tell him to go to Zulu's place. Well, here's the thing. I assumed that he would be there because literally every other time we've been asked that question, it's been a matter of, okay, do you want me to go there and wait for you or do you want to come with and we'll just teleport? I assumed that was what was happening, but no, instead all we got was Vano, who, to be fair, did a good job. What's up, friend? How are you doing? I'm doing good. I mean, it ain't easy, but we'll make it out of here. <coughs> Together we can do anything. Yeah. He's, kind of an, he's kind of an idiot, but to be honest, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't growing to like him. Like, really? I mean, that's a serious turnaround. Howdy. Lieutenant K Kirillov. I'm responsible for weapon maintenance and ammunition storage. Ah, so you can repair my stuff, huh? Alright, uh, let's do some repairs, because I certainly need it. Oh, and you'll do it for free! You won't do upgrades, though. Can you repair this? We found this on the Monolith Fighters. I don't have ammo for it, though. I'll have a little bit. Now, I could use ammo. No problem. What exactly do you need? Uh, I'm thinking... Is 4-5, is that the AP? Hang on, wait. I'll have to check. All right, so the ammo we've been using is 4-5, but I don't think there's an AP differentiation. Can I ask for AP? Okay, uh, and it just gives me 120 of one and 60 of the other. Wow, I was not expecting at all for this game to ever give me anything for free. And you're a medic. Uh, you can heal me, and I can just ask for medical supplies. I'm still doing okay on that stuff. Man, it, it feels so wrong, but... Well, I guess this is the government. And I am the government. Is... Okay, here I have a personal box, so I can stash some of my heavier loot. Uh, nobody touched my artifacts, huh? I don't know. Military in the zone, free ammo and gear. And to be honest, this all feels 
Should, this all feels just a little bit too good to be true. Alright. I'm Captain Tarasov. You may be a major, but I'm in command here. Want to switch to our AP ammo? Ice, get to the roof. The rest of you, follow me. So we'll have some kind of sniper cover at least. I should quick save. Uh, I don't think I can move that fast while crouching. Uh, these guys actually move like a squad. Far cry from what we've been seeing so far. Get in position. I hope they can't see lights. This must be the hospital itself. Now, apparently they'll be in the other wing. Look at this place. Let's wait until they get to the center of the yard. There they are. Now we only have two mags of AP ammo. Two and a half, really, considering we have the 40 upgrade. So we gotta make sure if there's gonna be anybody with like power the target armor. Is in position. Let's check them out. Ice cover us. Alright, that was pretty easy. Something tells me we're not out of the woods yet. Shotgun ammo and some bread. No unidentified weapon of any sort. Where's your other buddy? Wait. My detection bar is filling up! There they are. There they are. There they are. Okay, uh. For revealing the cunning plans of your enemies to us, may your light shine down on the face of the brave soldiers who gave their lives. I think we found our zealot. Oh, I'm flanked, I'm flanked. Flanked! There's still more here. I'm flanking myself, but I gotta keep moving. I think that was some friendly fire that was just coming in. I saw somebody here. Where have they gone? I think I gotta get upstairs. I only have those 17 left. Bang. Was it you? Firefight is still on. I hope we're not losing too many of our own. Ow. That was a good hit. Ugh. I need better body armor. Where's the rest of them? Now it feels like I'm in the middle of a war. There they are. Oh, the regular ammo really doesn't cut it with you guys, huh? And I don't have soul on me either. Not that it would make much difference in the moment. You guys are scattered all about. Doesn't seem like my guys are doing much to advance. Take that just so I can unload it. Come on. 
Nope. see anybody else up oh, there's our guy there's our super weapon oh let me guess you're gonna be a bullet sponge only barely saved myself I'm still bleeding even with bandages <sighs> okay now's the time to use the last BAP rounds I'm still bleeding And that was all of it, and you're still standing. But you finally dropped. Now, how do we go about getting up there? Oh, wait, there, there are enemies behind us! Good job watching the flanks, guys! How many of our team are even left? I'm being really wary here because I'm worried about friendly fire as my guys move in. bunch of medical supplies on the shelf here. I'm also taking this opportunity, because there's a lot of snipers here, to unload all their guns. Still taking fire. From the courtyard. Have my guy's been completely wiped out. Jeez. Uh, I'm loving the soundtrack here. It's just making everything feel so much darker. So much more foreboding. And that's saying something, considering how it was before. Now what kind of weird gun do you have? The SA Avalanche. Oh, great. We're gonna have to get indoors soon. Where's my ow? I think my guys must have been completely wiped out, right? Am I the sole survivor? That eh, sounds about right. In the end. Oh, hello, ominous wheelchair perched dead in the center of the hallway. There's no way any of my guys are still alive. I'll have to make this quick and grab that weapon before the next mission. I hope this building counts as cover if I can't make it back in time. No. Well, what do I do then? Ah, there you are. You fell off the roof. Alright, I got it. Now I suppose they'll want me to bring it back, huh? It doesn't look like I can use it anyway. An unknown weapon, the firing mechanism of which has not been established. It appears faulty. Squeezing the trigger doesn't do anything. Its ammo type is batteries. Alright, well... I should get going. What a fight. The monolith fighters are all dead, but my guys are either dead or run off, and I don't know which it is. I haven't seen any of their bodies yet. Yep, here's ours. Didn't even try to leave their spots, which, honestly, is probably smarter. Uh, we do, thanks to this artifact, have enough to carry some of their weapons back. 
but I don't think it's anything we want. Huh. Well, we were teleported here, but how am I getting back? Now we've got to make a journey down a couple of blocks. And what a perfect set of weather for our first journey through the middle of the zone. I have no idea what to expect. It's like everything has been training leading up to this, but we haven't been anywhere quite like this before. I don't know how to keep myself safe in this kind of environment. And plus, I, I don't know what the deal is with these monolith fighters, but they seem to be protective of this place. And they're really tough. If they can ambush me at any time, I think I'm kind of under-equipped for this. I really hope those PDA pings are my people. This must be the building. How do I get in? Ah, uh, right here. Excellent! Uh, how do I tell them I'm the only survivor? How do I tell them, after all that, that I need more ammo? Wow, I can't believe we made it to Pripyat unscathed. How did you even manage to find this path? It's not that difficult. All you need is skill and a bit of luck, and we've got both. Or maybe it's the zone rewarding us for our patience. God knows I've paid my dues with the scientists. Yeah, I've had enough of Herman myself. Huh. So you did make it. Hello, Gary? Long time no see. So, they say you made it through the tunnels. I found a passage underground. I can take you back for free if you need. Um, you know, happy to provide any assistance required to the authorities. By the way, thanks for helping me complete that contract with the scientists. I've had a look, little look around here and found this. Take it. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Excellent, so we have our man to take us to and from Pripyat. Uh... Just like any Urbex location, getting out, uh, that's both exciting because it's easier and sad because presumably that means the zone will be flooded with stalkers now. And Sokolov, nice of you to finally join us. How did you get here? I came with Gary. I asked him to take me with him when he was looking for a way to Pripyat. It was some trip, believe you me. It's a good thing we ran straight into our recon team as soon as we got to Pripyat. What happened to Stingray 4? Who knows? I had a bad feeling about the whole thing. We were flying on autopilot. The equipment was fine, and then suddenly we were flying in a piece of scrap metal with all the electronics disabled. Me and the pilot tried to reach flat ground, but it didn't work. We fell straight into the main workshop of the Jupiter plant. Right through the roof. I was the only one who made it. Okay. Well, I'm glad you made it here eventually and were able to regroup with your people. I figured my job would be to extract you and I guess in the end that got done anyway. It's not clear how the weapon works. It can't be repaired without additional information about its design. I probably have to go upstairs and hand it over. Well, I probably don't have to, but I will. Tell you what, I'll spend like one night here, and then I'm going to head back to Yanov because there's some things that I really need to get from my locker. I didn't buy that whole suit of armor for nothing.
How's the operation going? The squad is dead. Monolith fighters led us into a trap by sacrificing their own people. They couldn't have known about our plan. So, we've lost Tarasov and his men. What about the aim of the operation? I got the weapon. It was damaged during the fighting. So we can't determine whether it was used to shoot down our helicopters. Listen, Major. You've got connections among the Stalkers. It's possible that they've come across the weapon before. They should have technicians among them. Will you try talking to them? Oh, Nitro! Oh, by the way, another Stalker made it here from Jupiter. Have a chat with him first if you feel like it. Okay. I've received a message from the recon unit. Recon unit, come in. What is going on out there? We need to find the recon unit. Major, find out what happened. What the hell? Hmm. You be careful out there, okay? And Major, keep me posted. Uh, okay. Wouldn't be Stalker if my plans weren't delayed by a side quest. Uh, but we've got to get out there and find them. It looks like they're not all that far away, so we can do this. And I did get some more ammo. That actually sounds, though, like it might maybe be a controller. Something was clearly happening to them. Starting to get dark. The dark is even darker when you've got all these tall buildings blocking the surroundings. When you can't even see the sky. Now would really be a good time for night vision. Corpses. Lights on, please. I found the unit. They're all dead. Looks like they were shot, but there's no trace of the enemy. It's those damn fanatics. We need to deal with them. The recon unit had information about the location of monolith forces. The notes indicate the bookstore. Very well. I'll be sending two boys your way. They'll meet you near the target. Over and out. Oh no, now is not the time to be doing this. They'll meet me near the target. Okay. Let's get what I can from you. And then head out. Definitely have to ask for more ammo. Bank some stuff in my stash. And also, I'm gonna ask for armor. Maybe I can get night vision from these guys. Uh, won't even let me bank this whole six kilogram thing. Now, if I need body armor, uh, I get that stuff. Uh, does it have night vision? Uh, it does. I don't know if it's... Oh, wow, it's actually... I think it might be better than the thing I bought. That's... Hmm. And I just get it for free? 
Oh well, at least we have night vision now. I feel a little bit better prepared to take this on. Oh, I see. This one doesn't have any artifact slots. Oh, that's a real problem. We're gonna have to actually start caring about rads again. But for this, I need this helmet. That's more like it. I still don't feel safe, but at least better than before. Now, let's quick save and see where we're going. Uh, across town. This is quite a large area with a lot of places to explore. It's right over here. Oh, these buildings are so samey, it might be hard to get a lay of the land. But the darkness will hide me. I, I feel exposed, but I do believe the night actually influences enemy sight to a degree. And then again, those monolith fighters are so geared up, maybe they have night vision as well. No, don't move away from me! Okay. Wait. Was that Sokolov? I signed up as soon as I found out you need help. I'll follow you to the bitter end, man. F5? I really don't want anything happening to you guys. Wait for reinforcements, I guess. Don't want to waste my AP ammo on these dogs. These things are making me nervous. I'm going to take them down. Uh, but is that the bookstore? Alright, yes, you guys come over here. Come to me. No, they won't do it. Events are really conspiring to make me nervous about this whole thing. Do I have to talk to you? No? Alright, then we just wait, I guess. According to this, the bookstore is down that way. And perhaps I could just take care of this on my own. It tells me to wait for reinforcements, but that doesn't sound smart. I mean, what am I even waiting for? How do I know they're even coming? How do I know it's not bugged? And I don't like just having to ignore this pack of dogs. No, they know I'm here. They must, right? can't stand the noise of these things. Get out of here. Alright, I'm 
getting real tired of waiting. So I'm just gonna quick save and I'm gonna move in on my own. Should be right up ahead. I don't see any movement in sight just yet. But I do hear their voices. No one moving on the roof. Dozen contacts on PDA. Uh, let me remember to also load up with slugs. Uh, so I believe that means only the back two are slugs right now. Can I unload the rest? No. Maybe I can find an entrance around the back. Remember what Zulu said. not. But I don't want to start running because I don't want them to hear me. And we all know how stealth is in this game. If I can get a few headshots right as I peek in the door, I can even the odds, I think. These are AP rounds, so they'll go down quickly. Uh, but there's always the one dude with power armor. Door's closed too, of course. Uh, if it's so dark in there, I may not be able to see much, but we may have our in. No, of course not. Wait, have my reinforcements arrived? Uh, this night vision really doesn't help me much indoors. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, how am I not bleeding? This armor really is doing work. I can't see crap. Uh, with YouTube compression, you'll be able to see even less. I think that one was fixing to throw a grenade. And drop. But there's more. There's definitely more. I didn't even realize I had killed this many. Hello? Well, my guys are still alive, but who's still out there? You are still alive. But I hear them, there's more. Documents, maybe? Ow! Oh man, this armor really is doing work, isn't it? Die. No, don't, 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 don't rush forward, don't rush forward! I wish you guys had stayed back. Now I feel like I'm responsible for protecting you. Although I honestly do appreciate it. These guys are real companions. Oh, come on. Come on! Okay, take three. Surely this will work. Uh. If 
I open this door, they'll be right there. Thank you, Sokolov and Vano. Ah. God, that would have been so much cooler if it would just let me drop the grenade. But here we are. Good breach, guys. Ow! What are you doing? What is happening? What was that? All right. This time, I'm not going to bother with the grenades. I'm just going to start shooting. Unless... Oh, no, it's too risky. All right. Full mag. Let's just do it. Pick a couple of them off at prayer. And now the breach should be significantly less dangerous this time around. I don't know what was with that betrayal. The only thing I can think of is that they maybe caught a couple of bullets when they moved in front of me during that breach. Uh, game really, really showing its jank in this section. But we should be okay to move in now. Much easier breach that time. No betrayal? Alright, I guess we're good. Now they seem to be in prayer and... This is like some kind of shrine. What they're in prayer to... It seems like they worship Monolith as some kind of entity. Now, I don't know if that's the result of some kind of belief based on what they've seen, or... Uh, for all we know, something about the zone actually influencing their minds. Uh, what say you? Can't talk? No? That's not what I would call a device. Kowalski, something strange is going on here. There were loads of monolith fighters inside the building. They were all in a trance and talking to a pile of trash. I examined this pile, and if you cut through the crap, it resembles a primitive antenna. It seems that someone talks to them through this antenna, and they believe it to be divine intervention. This is all very strange. Someone's controlling these fanatics. Mm. We'll get back to this later. So, maybe not even a force of the zone. Maybe something human doing this on purpose? That could be anything at this point, but... That makes the monolith fighters themselves no less formidable. We avenged our boys. Do what you need to and let's get back. I don't feel like hanging around here. Okay. Just want to grab a few things and we'll get going. There's that strange thing over there. What do you reckon they need it for? Ah, uh, never mind. Come on, buddy. Do your stuff and let's get back to base. Alright, so will you follow me when I leave then? Seems like that storm's brewing again. Alright guys, let's go. Head back just the path we came because we really don't want any unnecessary danger. These 
still hear those dogs out there. Guys, I would really appreciate it if you'd follow closer. Or maybe you're taking a more direct path. Oh, I can't run. I can't keep up. I'm weighed down by all my delicious salami and bread. But it's not all that far back to base. Having to move back all together like this makes me nervous. Are they going to have something happen to us on the way? No, you don't. More of them. Two more, at least. You guys going to help? See where I'm shooting. This is a whole different thing in the city at night. In a rain thunderstorm. I think I might have actually lost them. I can't see too well either. There's my guys off in the distance. Once again, thanks for all the help. You guys are with me through the most dangerous part, and then when it comes to the more mundane tasks, you'll leave me alone. Ah, thanks for slowing down, allowing me to finally catch up now that we're right outside. Let's get in there. Of course, time just perfectly to make it seem like we all arrived back together. Now, this has been a slightly less talkative episode, but honestly, I think the atmosphere here... It, it just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Uh, it's time for some much-needed rest. Uh, which one of these cots is mine now? Oh, finally, one that actually looks like a comfy place to lie down. All right, let's wait until morning, and then we'll hit the road. Uh, I turned around and saw no one and got worried for a moment that I'd been ditched in the night. All right, can you repair my stuff real quick? Uh, no matter how good Nitro is, you can't beat free. No, sir. But we'll be seeing Nitro, because I am in a big hurry to get this huge hulking thing out of my inventory. And Gary's just the guy to get us there. Hey man, take me to Jupiter. What's new? Huh. Time's money. Get talking. This all feels almost like a tutorial area by comparison now. I was only in Pripyat for a short time, and I really didn't go off the scripted path at all, and even still, it just feels so hostile and unwelcoming. How the whole? Uh, you know, I'll tell you everything there is to say about bloodsuckers. When I was at Zatan, those assholes made life real difficult for just about everyone. Stalkers kept at them day and night, but it didn't help one bit, poor bastards. One day, I decided to help them out, so I took my shotgun and went straight for the bloodsucker lair. Three days I was partying with those sons of bitches, at times taking on two or even three together. <laughs> After some quality time with yours truly, the bloodsucker problem at Zatan is all but over. The bastards keep their tentacles tucked in at all times. Seems the... Bandits don't care for your stories. Would you like me to publicly embarrass you in front of them? Again? Tell me the story about the bloodsuckers. Yeah, you probably don't even know where that lair is. What do you want? Go somewhere else. Yeah, 
You know what? I'm going to start taking more and more quests just so that I can publicly refute you. And eh, maybe we'll get something out of it eventually. Now, Nitro. Sup? All right. When we got into the underpass, the elevator stopped working. Huh. You went down using the only operational generator. And it's the backup one at that. I barely got it working, so it did its job done and died. You should be grateful it didn't go out halfway. That elevator doesn't have an emergency exit. Alright, but I can't get this thing repaired by you? Oh, I can. No, no, I can't. Sad. But I can get this thing upgraded. I wonder how it compares to the one we bought. And you know what? I feel like I'm rich enough to maybe upgrade both around. and see how they do. Alright, time to do some armor top gear. Actually, I have to upgrade this stuff first because I don't have the other stuff. Uh, Psy protection might be nice. Uh, we can get the second generation night vision, but... Uh, does third generation require that? Probably not. But we don't have the fine tools. Alright, we're going to give you energy recovery, second gen night vision, and... You still need the fine tools. Uh, lame. Alright, well, we'll give you this. We'll give you Psy protection. And once again, you would need the fine tools. Now, we can give you minus 5 kilograms weight, which is always nice. Better impact. Some wound healing, actually. And energy recovery. All good things to have. Can we get artifact containers? Unfortunately, only with tools. So for that reason alone, I think it might be worth taking the other thing, but I still want to upgrade you fully so I can see. Obviously, we do want more armor. Yeah, I, I'll take the armor over uh, durability. Reduce weight carried. Of course, we want better wound healing. Electric or thermal doesn't really matter. I guess we'll take thermal, but like I said, doesn't really matter. Howdy ho! Hello, Gary. Take me to Zatan. Nah, it's too boring there. There's Pilot over there. He's the one you want for the safe but tedious work. Okay, I was kind of hoping that I'd get free travel from now on, but no such luck. Alright, take me to Skadovsk. Ah, you can collect the goods. Ah, just in time for Nimble. Or maybe he only reports once you get here. In any case, uh, we can get ourselves a nice suit of power armor as a consolation prize for what may be a waste. That's your order complete. Yep. I'm here to collect my order. And there it is. A combat exoskeleton as large as life. The best protection you can get in the zone from bullets, claws, or grenade fragments. With the exception of armored vehicles. But it also takes after armored vehicles in that it relieves your weight burden. Within reason, of course. 48k and it's yours, warts and all. Uh, by that I mean batteries and servo motors. Okay, here you go. I think that's all the money we hey, need to bro. be spending for now. Uh, there it is. An experimental sample of a military exoskeleton was never mass-produced due to an extraordinary cost and some design flaws. Despite this, it's in demand due to its ability to take on the weight of all carried equipment, and therefore, small batches are made in underground facilities outside Ukraine. It comes with a built-in artifact container. Ah, oh, so it is instead of whatever's in this slot, not in addition to... But it does provide some pretty good protection, and maybe even more once we upgrade it. However, it is pretty heavy by itself for all of its uh, reduced weight. I guess I can also sell you some artifacts while we're at it. 
And I want to make some of that money back. We have fallen below 100,000. So do we lose the achievement? We do not. Good to know. Uh, so right now you've requested bubble. I am going to have to go back for it. Well, I've got a lot of stories to tell. Can I tell you about my time working for the scientists? So, one day I go oh, and pop into their bunker, real curious to see what they're up to in there. At first, they're all in shock, but then they go, You're exactly what we need right now. It turns out they wanted to set up their devices under anomalies. <laughs> Obviously, the eggheads didn't feel like doing it themselves, so they promised me cash and other goodies. So I was like, well, that's fine, but the goodies better be worth it. I had to crawl around that area looking for anomalies, but it wasn't half as hard as getting those nerds to fork up the reward money. Mm-hmm. Tell me about your work with the scientists. Yeah. Stop claiming credit for other people's achievements. And specifically my achievements. I did that, not you. Lies. You can't prove anything. <laughs> Wrong. It's your word against the word of a freedom member. Good luck with that. Oh, we'll there see might about be a few that. folk who think that Flint is telling lies. Well, they can ask anyone at the base about me. Even this squad, the Pro Hunters, when they spotted me the other day, they were all like, We need you, Flint. We can't do it without you. They were hunting a chimera, so I had to show mm -hmm. these pros how it's done. My MO is real friggin' simple. I just head straight into the lair. They left one rookie by the entrance to keep an eye out for it. Of course, come morning, soon as the newbie saw the beast, he shat his pants and legged it. So I had to deal with it myself. Successfully, as you can see. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this so much. Yeah, that's exactly the story of what happened with Magpie. Hey man, what's up? Yeah, while I'm here... I met a group of fighters that want to join Freedom. Former monolith fighters? No thanks. The last thing I need is a rabid mob of fanatics. These ones are peaceful. It looks like they were under someone's control. They don't remember what happened to them after they left for the CNPP. They simply don't know what to do now. Well, maybe it wouldn't hurt to talk to them and find out what's what. I'll send a couple of my boys with you. They'll have a chat and we'll accept your monolith fighters into freedom. If it works out. Oh, and also, I wanted to talk to you about one of your stalkers. Really? Go ahead. I hope you're not here to snitch on someone. Your stalker Flint is known at Zatan by the name of Magpie. Of course, local stalker hunters are looking for him because he set them up and ran off with their loot. Now that explains why he only showed up here after I confirmed the case with Ganta. And you expect me to believe you? Just listen to the stories he tells at the bar. First he swindled those stalkers, and now he's lying to you. Okay, I'll contact Beard and see what's what. If what you say checks out, we'll deal with Flint Freedom style. Alright, now I'm not sure if anything will change if I go tell Ganta. Also, I'm here about accepting that Monolith Squad into Freedom. We're ready to go. Uh, sure, but maybe we'll want to wait until after this mission. With luck. And I've attained the achievement, Courier of Justice. Uh, what does that get us? You brought the scumbag to justice. Magpie cheated and deceived many a stalker. Now his time has come. Stalkers decided to give Magpie's loot, which she had acquired through lies and deceit, to someone more worthy. They put his stuff in your personal box at Yanov. Sweet! I'm listening, man. And we can't talk to him now? Sad. 
Uh, I can't quite see what's different. Uh, presumably we got something. But anyway, I needed to sell him a... What was I looking for? Bubble, I think? Yep, we've got one of these. And this has to be upgraded by Nitro. Hey there. Hey. Having a little bit of a contest here, and it's costing me a fortune. Uh, so, of course, we're going to want all this stuff. The same stuff that seemingly all of them have. Uh, artifact container, yes. Rad protection, always good. Body armor weight, always good. And health restoration. Now that is quite a deal sweetener. If you had better tools, if you had those better tools, we would be able to make this thing a lot better. But for now, what about this? We can do that. And that. Oh, this is cleaning us out. And that, ooh. And... Increases our weight carry even more, and you. We can get additional containers. Reduce the body armor weight by quite a bit. Oh yeah. Night vision can be added to it. Although we, no, we can't wear a helmet alongside it. Additional armor as well. And frankly, I don't even feel like wasting the 2,000 rubles on these things. I have my suit for when I'm artifact hunting. I just don't need it for this stuff. But this makes me quite formidable now. Now the question is, how does it compare to the other suits? Uh, the military one is pretty much worse in every way. As is the one that I got from Nimble. This is our combat suit. The only thing, and the reason I'm not going to get rid of this helmet, is because it does lack third gen night vision. So at a certain point, that will be something we have to get. Back once more to Zatan. And I don't like that wall of darkness behind me with the full detection meter. I'm listening. Welcome. I've got your artifact. Now, Ganta. How's it hanging? You look rested. I found Magpie. He was at Yanov's station, posing as Flint. He's been dealt with. Dealt with? That's a pity. I sure would have loved to hurt that cockroach myself. Oh well. It's good news either way. Here, take this. I'm a man of my word. And for that we receive 1,000 rubles. Now, well, at the moment I'm kind of begging for change, so that's okay. Howdy. Hey. I've got an unknown weapon model. What do you mean, unknown? Give it here. Let me take a look. Never seen anything like this before? What? Six? Sixty-two? That's impossible. Okay, it says I have to wait for him to regain his senses. So clearly they do have history. Now what is it about this thing? It's over there. Help yourself to a drink. Well that was... Well, I guess I should sleep his problems off. Still no good, huh? Ah, it's you. I had a dream where you brought me something from the past. 
good drinking I haven't been thing. It wasn't this year weapon in your dream, was it? Huh. I guess it wasn't a dream after all. That's a Gauss rifle. Or item 62, as it used to be called officially. Wait. Was that what they were talking about on the documents back at the Jupiter plant? Uh, back then, I used to do contract work for the Jupiter plant, okay. I designed weapons, if memory serves, based on the principle of projectile acceleration via an electromagnetic field. See those reels? I made those. Too bad they shut down the project in 04. We never did find a compact enough energy source. This rifle has been fired. What could have changed? Who knows? To be honest, I wouldn't dare stick a screwdriver in that battery. There is also some mechanical damage in the power supply system. The schematics would be real handy right about now. The testing workshop I worked in handled all the production documentation. I think this is how we get into the Jupiter Labs. Maybe the schematics and support documentation for the Gauss rifle are still there. I've still got a keycard to the workshop. Would you give it to me? Yeah, here you go. Just try not to lose it. And if you bring me those documents, I just might fix that gun. Okay, see ya. Oh, this is so exciting! Oh, the quests in this game mean that uh, sometimes you leave a quest for a long time and you can get back into it in the most unexpected ways. I can't wait! Oh, we're finally going to get to do some lab diving. Oh, who knows what kind of crazy stuff we're going to find down there. At the very least, the way to get using this Gauss rifle again. We're about to be the king of the zone in more ways than one. We're going to be a Robocop. Uh, but that'll have to wait until next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that would be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. You're ruining my outro, guy. Rude. <laughs>